Ready do flight crew, FTC, fight team stand up, I'm too high to remember, I think it's November. We have Eating Magic Brownies, animated story, back on the man's channel again. And as Check soon as I said that, Jeff's face changed from happy and magical to extremely concerned. He was like, on. Oh, no, I told you not to eat more than half, bro. Have, have you ever had magic before? I'm like, no. Now, I remember my first brownie, you know what I'm saying? It was a half day uh, back in like 11th grade, you know, when you have half days in this. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember, bro, just edibles just hit different. But nowadays, bro, edibles don't even work. I don't even eat edibles anymore, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you come so tolerant to the tree, bro, uh, it just doesn't work, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, comment down below your... Uh, edible story and what happened and what was like the, the the biggest trip I see with me I already had knowledge not to eat like a certain amount you know what I'm saying of like what it, it appears I already knew that it takes longer for the you know to hit a boom and this and that but yeah I never really had honestly any like crazy experience crazy crazy experiences like yeah I've been you know obviously smacked off it but I ain't never like you know some people overeat it and they just like you know just yeah I don't even need to describe because you already know what I'm talking about man I mean really appetites up this man no, but I don't see why you're tripping. I ate the whole brownie like 20 minutes ago, and I still don't feel anything. And right after saying that, I hear, Yo, somebody need to get me a doctor, man. Somebody help me, man. Yo, take me to the nurse, dog. Young Don, sauce. Rated S for sauce. So if by now I haven't completely and thoroughly shattered the illusion that I was the angelic, perfect kid that my parents believed I was back in the day, this, uh... This video will surely fix that. So this takes place back in high school, back in J -J -J Jamaica, Jamaica. So one morning I get to school and I'm just chilling in my home classroom before the first school bell rings with one of my boys, who we'll call Jeff, comes up to me with a big <laughs> smile on his face. He's like, yo, Don, how much lunch money you got today, man? So automatically I'm like, God damn, boy, I just got to school, man. Why is you... They give me for money already, dog. Can I live? He's like, Don, chill. Just, just tell me how much lunch money you got, man. So I'm like, five hundred. This is Jamaican dollars, of course. And at the time, three hundred dollars was a reasonable amount for a day's worth of lunch money. But my mama loved me a little bit extra, so you know she'd often give me five hundred. Just for context, back then, a hundred Jamaican dollars was equal to like one American dollar. So I told him how much money I got, and then he was like, Cool, cool, okay, okay. You should go half with me on a brownie. So I'm like, brownie? What brownie? Is, is there like a bake sale going on or something? Jeff's like, dog, <laughs> no, bro. I'm talking about Leroy's brownies, dog. So I'm like, oh snap, Leroy? That that big dark skin dude? Nah, I'm I'm good. I know Leroy. He looks like the kind of guy that would scratch himself and then put his hand back in the batter without washing his hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take a hard pass on that. Try his ass, Jeff okay, was like, bro. Don, you don't know about these brownies, huh? I'm like, what about them? Then Jeff's eyes lit up in that special way that people's eyes light up when they know a secret that you don't. He leans in and whispers, Don, these are magic brownies. I look at Jeff and I'm like, you're kidding. He doesn't even say anything. Just stood there smiling. I gave Jeff all of my lunch money you see by this time a lot of dudes in our grade were experimenting with magic but they were only using magic inhalers and that didn't really appeal to me but i was still curious about magic so when jeff told me about the magic brownies i was like that sounds amazing so yeah i was like sign me up so jeff takes my money and dips out 10 minutes later he comes back to me and hands me my brownie wrapped up in foil paper he tells me that i should wait until lunchtime to eat it and that i should only eat half so i'm like cool i got it i was pumped i couldn't wait till lunch fast forward to lunchtime and everybody has brownies like leroy made bank that day man so i find jeff and i'm sitting with him and a group of friends and then we all ate our brownies so we're sitting there in 15 minutes or so passes and i'm not i'm not really feeling anything also lunch was gonna end in less than 30 minutes so i started to get a little impatient on top of that i spent all my lunch money on this dang brownie so your boy was high key hungry i didn't have anything else to eat so 
I ate the rest of the brownie. The whole thing. I ate the whole thing. I even licked the icing off the foil paper, man. So yeah, I'm there, boy. Jeff comes over to me and he's like, yo, Dom, man, how you feeling, bro? And then I'm like, eh, I'm kind of hungry, man. And, uh, a little disappointed. I ate the whole brownie, still pretty hungry, not really feeling any magic. And as soon as I said that, Jeff's face changed from happy and magical to extremely concerned. He was like, um, no. I told you not to eat more than half, bro. Have have you ever had magic before? I'm like, no, but I don't see why you're tripping. I ate the whole brownie like 20 minutes ago and I still don't feel anything. And right after saying that, I hear, Yo, somebody need to get me a doctor, man. Somebody help me, man. Yo, take me to the nurse, dog. I look over to where the noise was coming from and I see this dude, let's call him Amari, screaming and running across the schoolyard. Then he gets tackled by some of the other students. They bring him over and my man's is tripping hard. He was sweating, mumbling, gibberish, trying to take off his shirt, just completely losing it. Nah, so like, bro, that know. ain't no tree in there, my nigga. Man, he put something else in there, boy, right? Bro. What happened to him? And then one of his friends was like, Man, that boy ate a whole brownie, dog. I guess Leroy made this batch extra strong. Made this batch extra strong. Oh, Bro, but take it off your like your 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 shirt, like when you're high. What? I never like instantly begin to panic. I mean, I was going to die. <laughs> Certainly, I was I was going to die. Obviously, here's why. Amari was one of those dudes that was known to take part in the use of magic inhalers after school. So you understand what I'm saying? This this guy was an experienced magic user. He was uh, an experienced magic user and was still going insane. That's crazy. So that means he was basically yeah, had damn, never that's crazy. Used magic. And I ate the exact same amount of brownie as he did. I was f so there I am, just panicking internally, awaiting my certain death. I was sweating profusely. I look sick just from the worry and anxiety. Then Jeff comes over to me and is like, yo, Don, how you feeling, man? And then I was like, I don't know, bro. I, I still don't feel anything too crazy, man. And it was like, as soon as I said that, Bam! It hit me. And here's the thing when it comes to eating magic. Unlike inhaling it, when you eat it, it doesn't gradually come on to you. Yep. One moment, you're fine. Just chilling. And then out of nowhere, it's like a magic... It has to digest in your intestines. It goes from your large intestines and once it hits that small intestines and the small intestines, you know what I'm saying, transfers over to your blood and your arteries and vessels. That's where, you know what I'm saying, it goes. Over That's why I hit. That's why it takes from. You know, before the digestive snacks, it's going to take like an hour. La La Land. I was gone. It was so yeah. bad that I ended up skipping all my classes after lunch. Damn. There were three distinct feelings that I remember from being under magic spell. The first was that time was moving in slow motion. And yep. I don't just mean my sense of time, which did happen. The last 10 minutes of lunch felt like an hour. But I mean visually. The best way I can describe it is like a visual echo. For example, let's say someone waved their hand in front of my face. It was like their hand left a trail of hands. At the yeah. <laughs> That's, no, that's facts. That's facts. Like when you first first start doing it, I because I bro, I used to have some crazy trip outs. Bro, I remember bro certain times. I don't know if I said this in past videos or whatever, but I remember certain times, bro. You know, coming out of school, bro. Like I used to be trip, like having that same trip out. And there was one teacher, reading teacher, bro. He used to stood up. Bro, and I would just always, like, see his face move, and he had a big, you know, like, a, a long beard and shit, bro. I would always think this man is, like, like an evil Santa Claus or Grinch every time he would, like, when I would be, like, super stoned, you know what I'm saying? But, like, bro, that's true. But once you become more tolerant, that kind of stops happening. Like, it happens if you, you know, you have a good amount, but most of the time it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? But that's actually, like, the similar, so similar effect. You know what I'm saying? It happens when it completely you tripped me out. The second feeling was that my sense of touch became hyper stimulated. I remember just sitting on the floor in complete agony because the wrinkles in my uniform hurt when my skin rubbed over them. Like right, I would rest my, all that, my pants and the bulges in the fabric fell as if they were trying to pierce through my skin. Absolutely awful. The last feeling was severe anxiety. I can honestly say that this was the first time in my life where I experienced a real traumatic panic attack. I was so worried about what you ask. I remember in particular, I was dreading that my mom was going to pick me up from school and see that I use magic. And then, yeah! Q 
kill me. So, for like See the that, four hours imagine. between lunch and when I was supposed to get picked up from school, I just sat on the floor, panicking that my mom was going to be just so disappointed and angry with me. But here's the thing. My mom never picked me up from school. Yeah. I mean, never. She has a nine to five job. She's a manager at a bank. She's never picked me up from school. But for some reason, I was convinced that she was coming again. <laughs> and when she did, she was going to murder me in front of all of my friends. But of course, instead, a taxi cab picked me up. The same taxi cab that had been picking me up every day from school for the prior <laughs> three years. So when I say that it made no sense that I was convinced that my mom was going to pick me up, well, I, mean, that I have paranoia. no idea why I thought that. But that's what eating magic can do to you. Especially when you eat it at 14 years old. So I get home and I immediately just went to bed. I slept for like four hours, got up, and then proceeded to eat all the food in the house. All of it. Like everyone's dinner that my aunt had cooked that afternoon and put in the fridge. Like four plates of food, my G. I ate all of it. Damn! Moral of the story. Kids, don't do magic, man. It's a... Uh, Powerful stuff. Speaking facts. Hey man, that's the Kevin Off. That's the man. Coming up on the last rant and answer. Little three million busy.